My name is Bianca Augustin. I work at Pagoda Yoido. I'm from South Africa and I've been living in Korea for eight months. My name is Heath Chayden and I am working at the Gangnam branch of Pagoda One and I am from Las Cruces, New Mexico uh, in the United States of America. My name is Linda and I'm from Ireland. I'm working at the Kangdam branch and I've been at Pagoda for four and a half months. My name is Matthew Nolan and I've been working here at Pagoda for about seven months and I'm originally from Los Angeles, California but I've been in Korea for about two years now. My name is Sean. I'm originally from Canada. I came to Korea 10 years ago, and I've been working at Pagoda for six years. Four years as a teacher and two years as the trainer. For the last two years, I was teaching English at a school in Dublin, and the majority of my students were Korean. And through them, I just learned so much about the country and the culture and fell in love with it. And I just really enjoyed teaching Korean students because they were so motivated. And some of them had actually studied at Pagoda, so they recommended the school and helped me with the application. Uh, you know, I wanted to teach at Pagoda almost immediately after arriving in Korea, but I had no uh, formal training or anything, so I focused on getting more experience. And then a year later, I tried again to come back to Pagoda because it had a good reputation and I knew it was a professional company in Korea. Living and working abroad has always been a really big dream of mine. So when a friend back home told me about her experience working at Pagoda and living in Korea, I decided to take the chance and do the same. Uh, I did my research, I contacted the company and I was really happy with what they had to offer. So it seemed like the right fit at the right time. The first time I traveled overseas was moving here uh, about six months ago. I'd never been overseas and the best advice I can give is don't panic. Pagoda will take care of everything. The main advice I give is uh, do your research. Uh, we mostly teach business people, so certainly brush up on your business as well as your grammar. Also, keep an open mind and be flexible. We'll, we really need to uh, adapt to each student's needs. I think if you're coming to Pagoda for the first time and Korea for the first time, uh, just kind of let the people here uh, introduce you, let them handle you. They, they take care of you well and they'll get you settled in. And then just embrace the city and embrace the culture because it's, uh, it's a fun, fun place to be. Undoubtedly, it's the students. Um, they're so motivated, they're so engaged and focused in the lessons. They really want to improve um, and getting to work in a one-to-one -one with them, you can see their progress and it's incredibly rewarding. You get to tailor the lessons for them, adapt it to their needs and you can really feel like you're making a difference when you see them grow in confidence. I think working with adults and teaching adults is, is uh, the best part because they're, they're dedicated and they come from various backgrounds, various ages. You end up learning just as much as they do when you teach them. My background in teaching is teaching group classes. So I'm used to having a minimum of 15 students. So I've really changed as a teacher where I'm working one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, it's, it's much more intimate. Uh, again, you can s really see your students change and progress much faster uh, compared to a group setting. So I've um, changed as a teacher because I adapt a lot quicker to every single student. The best part of living in Seoul is that despite being a major metropolis, an internationally recognized one, it's a very convenient and comfortable city to live in. At the same time, you'll never run out of anything to do. The restaurants are top-notch, there are shows, as well as a large and vibrant foreigner community. It's just one of the best places to live. 